Dilations and scale factors, they go together. If a uh, dilation is taking place, you expect there to be a scale factor lying around somewhere. So a dilation either is an enlargement or a reduction. A magnification or a reduction. Every so often, you don't do anything to the original figure and you keep the original size. We'll be talking about enlargement and reduction. Suppose there's a length of 10 feet. Dilate this by a scale factor of two, then by a scale factor of one half. A dilation with a scale factor of two means you take the original length and multiply it times two. Notice it has to be a multiplication. Scale factor, the word factor means multiplying. So scale factor implies a multiplication each time. So in this case, this went through a dilation. The 10 feet went through a dilation with a scale factor of 2. So the size double. A dilation with a scale factor of 1 half would imply that the original length is going to be multiplied by 1 half. So the original length, the original length is 10 feet, and now it's Five feet. So we see that the dilation was a reduction. The length was reduced by one half. Right here we have a box camera. Here's a candle and here's its image inside the camera. Given the measurements of the figure, find the height of the candle. This is the candle and here is its image. Notice the numbers they gave us. They gave us the 60 centimeters. They gave us this 4 centimeters. And then this broken line for the little triangle, it's worth 12 centimeters. You have a big triangle and a smaller triangle. These two triangles are related. They're proportional to each other. I know that if I get the original triangle, the bigger one, I would have to multiply times a proper fraction to get the smaller one. My scale factor would be a fraction, a proper fraction. And if I started with my smaller triangle with my image, and I wanted to go back to the original, the pre-image, I would have to multiply these lengths by a number greater than 1. So just keep that part of the figure that you need. The rest is a distraction. So here's the candle. This is 60 centimeters. This is 12 centimeters. And this is 4 centimeters. We would like to know the candle size. Just thinking about it, we see that the 60 going from the bigger triangle to the smaller became a 12. So ask yourself, what number did I multiply by? I would have to multiply by one fifth. So my skill factor going from the big figure to the smaller is one fifth. But I need to go from the smaller to the bigger. So I'm going to have to multiply times a skill factor that's greater than one. So going from large to small, my skill factor was a proper fraction. So going from small to large, my skill factor would have to be a number greater than 1. So how does the 4 become this length? What would I have to multiply it by? Well, you multiply it by the factor that gets you from 12 to 60. How do you get from 12 to 60? You multiply times 5. So you multiply this 4 times 5. And that would be the length of the candle.